Welcome everybody, I'm Rockma. So, this is going to be the start of a lot of different videos. As you can see up here, these are all the topics. Well, there's three of them that aren't. I haven't really made a video on this because I've been waiting to uh, kind of see how everything unfolds. And uh, I'm ready to make my videos. I was going to do some Asmongold React stuff, and I probably still will. But I want to go ahead and get my thoughts out before I did anything else. So I haven't watched any of that kind of crap. So what happened? Activision being sued by California over discriminatory or over discrimination against female employees. How far do you have to sink for that to be the headline? According to the complaint filed Tuesday, Los Angeles, Cor uh, Los Angeles Superior Court, female employees make around 20% of Activision workforce and are subjected to a pervasive front boy, uh, workplace culture, in including cube crawls, uh, in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. The agency alleges male employees play video games during the workday while delegating the responsibilities to female employees uh, engage in sexual banter and joke openly about rape and uh, among other things female employees working for the world of warcraft team noted male employees and supervisors would hit them would hit on them and make derogatory comments about rape and other, engage in otherwise demeaning behavior the agency alleges let me turn this down just a little bit okay uh, in a blatant example of the defense's refusal to deal with the harasser because of his seniority position Alex Aprasabi Remember that name? He's going to show up a lot. Uh, let me pull this, actually. Okay. Where am I at? Where am I at? There he is. The former uh, senior cr uh, creative director of World of Warcraft at Blizzard Entertainment. He was the creative director. He was the one supposed to be adding flavor and life to the game. Would hit on female employees, telling him that he wanted to marry them, attempting to kiss, and kiss them, and putting his arms around them. This is in plain view of other male employees, including supervisors who had who had to intervene and pull him off of female employees. Aversabi was known to engage in harassment of females in his suite, nicknamed the Cosby Suites, after alleged race, a rapist Bill Cosby. So wait, it was so well known. Uh, I'm gonna read the rest of it, but like, so well known that they freaking named a suite after him. Holy shit. Um, Aversabi would also call female, uh, females derogatory names at company events. Aversabi, uh, Aversabi's conduct was known to be blistered executives, who took no effect remedial measures. J. Allen Brack, president of Blizzard Entertainment, allegedly had multiple conversations with Aversabi uh, about his drinking and that he had been too friendly towards the female uh, employees at the company events, but Aversabi, but only ever gave Aversabi a slap on the wrist in verbal counseling. In response to these in incidences, subsequently, Aversabi continued to make unwanted, unwanted advances towards female employees including a including grabbing a female employee's hand inviting her over to his hotel and groping another woman IGN has published a reply from a Activision Blizzard spokesperson we value diversity and strive to foster a workplace that uh, in offers inclusivity for everyone there is no place in our company or industry or any industry for sexual misconduct or harassment of any kind. We take allegation very, very er, allegation. We take every allegation very seriously and investigate all claims. 
In cases related to misconduct, action was taken to address the issue. The DFEH includes uh, distorted and in many cases false descriptions of Blizzard's past. Are they really about to defend themselves? We have been extremely cooperative in the DFEH throughout their investigation, including providing them with extensive data and ample documentation, but they refuse to inform us on what issues they have perceived. Uh, they were required by law to uh, adequately investigate and have good faith discussions with us and better to understand and, or resolve any claims or concerns before uh, going to litigation. But they failed to do so. Instead, they rushed to file an inaccurate complaint and will and as we will demonstrate in court, we are sickened by the reprehensible conduct of the state of California uh, to find this behavior disgraceful, disgraceful and unprofessional. Wow, you're going to call them unprofessional. Uh, after groping your employees. It is unfortunate and ex uh, it is unfortunately an example of how they have conducted themselves to the course of their investigation. In this type of irresponsible behavior from accountable state bureaucrats that are driving many of the state's best businesses out of California. Okay, so wait a second. So because you got investigated for sexual misconduct over the course of two years and then had multiple cases from multiple people in your leadership... The freaking creative director, the guy who's supposed to be adding flavor and creativity to the game, is instead groping your female employees. You're going to call the people that caught him irresponsible for misrepresenting. How do you misrepresent one of your senior staff groping your employees to the point at which he had to get pulled off by other managers and then your president had to give him a slap on the wrist I think it said multiple times and then he kept doing it and yet California's the one who's being irresponsible go fuck yourself we put tremendous input in creating a fair and rewarding compensation package and policies that reflect our culture and businesses we strive to pay all employees fair for equally substantial similar work what does that fucking mean just say we pay them for what, what for the work that they do and we pay everyone the same if you're the same level then you get paid the same amount uh, you're not compensating or 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 or, or, or uh, what was it uh rewarding compensation packages and policies the policy is if you do the same work you get the same pay if you don't do good work, you get fired. It's how, it's how it works everywhere. We are confident in our ability to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity. This isn't about diversity, though. If it was an issue of equal employment, I would get it. And maybe there's a little bit of it because there's only 20% women who work there. But you know what would make it? Probably a little bit more appealing for women to work there is if they weren't getting fucking harassed You probably have more than 20% women trying to work there but they Either hurt something or they were warned when they started there and left or they were harassed and quit Because for everyone that like that that, that speaks up and, 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 and freaking you know uh, makes an issue there was a hundred that weren't. That's just the truth. I mean, you, yeah. No, this is not like your hiring practices. This is, this is fucking criminal behavior being allowed at your company. And now you're trying to blame the person who's responsible for investigating you to help these people in this shitty situation. Uh, for, for your inability to keep your freaking manager's hands off your employees. Oh, uh, this is, a uh, this is terrible. This is actually terrible. Uh, response here, Blizzard. Holy shit. What a 
absolute dumpster fire of a response so let's just go back up here for a little bit uh 20% are women pervasive frat boy culture now that on its own isn't terrible like I've worked in some offices that were called frat boy culture and what it was was everybody was having fun everybody was loud everybody had a good time and you know what we got shit done we weren't you know obviously under the influence or anything like that but like because it was fun and because everybody knew each other it was called frat boy culture by somebody who just didn't want to be part of the group so benefit of the doubt on that one whatever i'm gonna discount that cube crawls now cube crawls to my understanding is whenever there's a bunch of cubicles and you go around to each cube and you start going through their shit which is totally fucking not okay zero tolerance you need to get fucking fired for that done uh in which you drink copious amounts of alcohol if you're drunk at work you're fired end of story don't need any further explanation you're done guy it's over like, it's easiest freaking decision of your life. If you're looking at this from a manager, fire him. And often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. Sexual harassment. Take it seriously, investigate it, have a third party investigate it, like every other company, and, if they, and, 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 and trust their findings, because they've got no stake in it, get rid of them or don't if the if the if the investigation comes back and says hey everything is on the up and up cool but then you have a third party saying it this is fucking ridiculous this is this is sad